I wasn't going to stream tonight, but I thought everything I do, I try and record and process it. So this could be only an hour stream. But we have bought, because we own 23, I got permission to ransack and go through sort of 12 and 22. This is kind of what we found. Um, I rang out the Forestry Commission and asked them, can I have them? I went, yep, so we've got permission to sell them. And that's what we're about to do. So I'm hoping, and there's a reason why. We also sold the tanker, you know, the slurry tanker that I wasn't 100% over the moon with. Right. I'm hoping for... I'm hoping this sells for a £1,000 each, is my plan. Yep. Think we might have just hit target. Right, I'm saving this. And we're going to sell this in about two seconds, right. We may need more money. So we may be taking some more trees out. You're probably thinking why. It's because we're going to finish a yard off. So I wasn't going to stream tonight. But I'm probably going to do an hour. So let's get this thrown down. works still can't take this out I wonder Go. That's every single stomp removed. Right. That's 
that's way too fast. That's a bit better. I said it's only going to be a quick stream. And yeah. So I said I phoned up the Forestry Commission and I said to them, because remember this is still owned by the Forestry Commission. And I said to them, thing is, we need enough cash to get into June. So. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. First time I've actually come this way. And I forgot about that. They've also said we can have a look round and see what else we can find. So I'm probably going to put another five in on here. Because we got enough... Well, let's do a count of the forest. We'll say there's two the forest. Half of those 70... So that was 70 I found. And half of them was from um yeah because the forestry commission even though they do some work on it they don't do a lot of management and that's kind of what we're in so that's giving us eight thousand so let's do a count right so we've done that so we'll probably say one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13. Yeah, we'll add, we'll add in. So what I'm going to do is, is do this sensibly. So. Yeah, that's not quite gone the way I wanted it. But I want a full trailer load. So looking at that, let's go five. We rang them up and they've said anything we find fallen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There you go. That'll do. There you go. A thousand pound each. So that's now given us enough money to finish the yard off. So that technically is cheating, but how I view it, if you're on here in real life, you would have. If I could. Go into the i3D and drop trees. I will do. But I don't want to spend like 10 hours just doing that. So that's why I do that. So that justifies we've gone through everything like this. And with the amount of trees you expect fallen logs and stuff. So. Alright let's save it. Let's take this back up to the sawmill. And then we'll start transferring our vehicles down. Anything arable is going in that yard. So I want manual attach because I want to turn manual attach off. <laughs> so far, power tools and easy to earn jobs aren't conflicting each other, which I'm happy about. Kind of first time I've driven around the back of 30. So I know we kind of gone the long way around, but. 
we also got to do something with this as well. So I think next game day, we've got to convert this into a field. I think we've got to do that next game day, get 29 done. So, there you go. We've also got to replant all of this. So yeah, tomorrow is going to be the mainstream. Today's just me just doing little bits. I plan to do an hour. I was going to record this, put it on YouTube, but. Right. So. I know there's nothing in. I know there's nothing in there uh what's in there diesel death that's fine four five eight we just get a thing so there's seven seven nine six and this is where easy development control would come in seven seven nine six i should have taken a note of the other one um I want to see how hard it is to fill these with fluids. Right. No. Got £95,000 to play with. Yeah, you can see the patch of weeds that are turning up. Same again. And then I'll worry about where the fuel tank is going to go in a minute. I have an idea. But I don't know if it's going to work. So we just have to wait and see. Right, this will tell me if we're... Yeah, we're actually... Yeah, we're about right. Same again. So we want to get this squared 90 degrees to the back wall. down that far right now the R part and that's interesting how this ends a little bit higher but this will need to be matted in like a, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult Slowly, everything will be moved down. Oh, the only thing to be left up here will be the animal stuff. Twenty nine thousand to play with. You need to get a silo put down there. Yeah. Start one job at a time. I want to make this wider. So next season we will be expanding into the left. It looks good coming in. Looks good. I'm happy with that.
question is how does this look over here yeah it needs to go left a little bit more so because of ground and seeing we got landscaping painting the Let me try something then. Let me just try. I'm trying to get the angle right. Which I am not doing well at the moment. You, yeah, see, it's so difficult to get your angles right. No, so it needs to go that way a little bit more. See what I mean by this is difficult. So that one mattered in quite well. Annoying that those sheets don't exactly match up. Yeah, see that? Yeah, it cuts in a bit too much. So, yeah. Let's try another camera angle. I don't know if that's exactly straight. See that the back has worked. Kind of cut in. So yeah, I don't know if that is the best. That one there has worked. Let's 
So I think try and take two. Try and take two with that. What my personal feeling is. Because that is not. Yeah, you can tell that's not level from a mile away. That might give me a better viewpoint. Really not enough money. No, there's too much of a gap. It's the right place, but it's too much of a gap. So, right, look, let's see if I can get this bang on then. There's too much of a gap. It shouldn't be too hard then to delete the wrong, the right building. I can nail. It's trying to put the right building back in place. Yeah, that's not going to work. Right. Uh, right, before we do that, let's go trees, painting, grass, let's fill this back end in. I kind of know where we're at. Where I think. There you go. So. Trying to get the camera angle right. It's like the hardest thing. Still in the wrong place. Still in the wrong place. That's got that roof line nailed. That'd be the key point. That roof line, like roof line's completely out. Okay. Now I know where we want it. Um. Concrete. We're in the way. 
We're almost there. I nearly had that bang on. Please say for the hundredth a cry. Right, it's got to be into that dirt. Right. Let's try this now for the like one thousandth time. Oh, spin around, man. Thank you. Australian, when you have enough dough. Mm -hmm. I might have to do. No, I'm determined to get that within. So close. It's ridiculous how close that is. So what I'm saying, like, if you did this out of game, it'd be dead easy. Be safe for the 100th time. Done it. It's a bit of cut in there, but that's about as good as I'm ever going to be able to nail right. So the plan then is if I can spin my camera right. Uh, I'm going to put it on this end of the barn. I want to go landscaping because this is never going to change. Production buildings, right? Silos.
Where are they? Come on. Containers. They are right. This is a diesel tank. Diesel tank first. Sort the landscaping out later. Actually, we could put it around the back. Just move it down here. Put it at the back of the farm. So this ain't ever moving. Uh, no, I prefer it on that and walk. Diesel and DF together. This will be easy to put in. I might have taken trees out and there'd be a reason why in a minute because I want to do something up to the main yard. Right. Right. So what we got is these two permanently sit here. So right, let's see if I can save this. Let's see if we can get these refilled. So stood in the trigger. Fill types. Hit the ground to show. You. Remove bales, add log. Vehicles placeables, right. Seven seven nine six. Yep. Good. Right. Uh, one forty. Where is it? One one four. I don't actually know. Leave it that we can always adjust that if we need to. Right.
how much is a diesel tank at the bottom end of the yard? It's five thousand pound, isn't it? Because what I want to do is go landscaping. I know where it's. I know where it's going to live. I already kind of know that. Landscaping productions, buildings, containers. As long as I can work out a fill from it, which is doing well, right. We'll have to take two trees out, but we can do it at the top. Not an issue. Not spent. Thank you. I haven't got a DF point, but that's not the end of the world. Yeah, got a diesel point as well, right next to the water fitting point. So that's good, right? Um,
this track will now be getting widened. So this roller is going to box. Yeah, I do love that. Coming across and just seeing that. No, we haven't quite got enough cash, but one thing I am going to do. Still got silos and stuff to put in. But it's right. These three sheds will do. We shouldn't need anything else other than these three sheds. If we do, there's an issue. But as we get more equipment, we can build more. But it'd be kind of the plan is we build on the other side. If we need to do any building, building work will be done into the forest. But yeah, this is a nice big concrete yard. And then it will connect into a dirt yard down here somewhere. Last thing would be the cedar, I think. Oh, 
and a baler. So cedar and baler. Mowers can stay. That can stay. That's actually needs to be put back in its place. Was not kind of expecting that. Right, we're nearly done. Where are we? Nearly 48 minutes in. Getting this put on a low loader wouldn't be a bad idea because then you can get that top fill pretty quick. Put some trees on that side. The yard is nice and big. Got enough room to put our trucks in it, at least I can drive. These are huge. These are like humongous barns. You leave the header here for a minute because so the header'd be out of the way. to see what I mean though well, how narrow this road is this why we will be widening that so tomorrow will be herbicide them I don't know where the animals are, so I'll have a quick look. The combine doesn't actually fit in the barn. But it fits in there, okay. It's quite funny, actually. We could put the forage wagon next to it. We could put both connect that back up. First out. 
go and get our water. You can always put more of these overhanging barns on. Put the header in the barn. See if we can put it on a rack. Oh, no, we're not. We're just going to drop it straight in the barn. There you go, right. That's them two in. This tractor will always be down arable. That landini will always be up there. Nothing come up in here that's oh, worthwhile. So I want to get Missy B cedars up here. Oh, I've got a lot of stuff. But next game day we might be buying some more land, but I don't know yet. Trailer. Head a trailer will leave there for a moment. I want to put the English bomb pack next to it and see what it looks like. I know the place is looking a little bit empty now. The long term, you may be able to get rid of that barn. We don't actually need it. Barn well, slurry tank probably won't fit in it. What it means like is now stuff like this as a home. A lot of the bell traders probably will end up. There you go. It's now got a home.
when I'm trying to walk fast. They can sort of stay up here. It's kind of what I'm looking at now is going right. Can everything kind of stay? Sort the dump trucks out later. I might do a little bit more of this off screen, but that'll do me. As most of the yard side, you've got that there. Got a little bit in here to do. At least that's kind of in. So that kind of fits in with, and that's actually fitted in quite well. Which is kind of a miracle. Right. We will get the tanker. So where are we with the animals? 27, 47, 43, 78. Okay, the refuel, even though we're there, we can actually refuel from here, which is pretty good. That's kind of it, it's just moving stuff. It kind of fits. There's actual room now to bring trailers down. Pull that up. Pull that was pre folded. Never actually gone this way for a while, so be an eye opener. got the curtain side to deal with so we'll deal with that in a minute so I'm thinking putting the curtain side underneath the big barn or actually no I know where the curtain side is going to go now we've got rid of them fuel tanks Then the next track we're going to save up for is the fast track. Got a feeling we need a workshop down here as well. That's what I was going to 
clip up without doing that. Two in the third bite. Should have gone in the third by. Uh, my bad. Right. Is that everything? Workshop. We haven't got one at the moment. Might not be a bad thing. Ten thousand on the back. What else do we need? We'll eventually have a second one of them where I'm hoping it will be high enough on one side to get the trailers in. Do that in a minute. And how I'm going to do this is I'm going to jump out.
that's not quite worked. Hoping to just be out of up. Okay, that's not what I intended to do. So I had a plan. I didn't reverse that. And now I can. That's like, what else going on there? Is that in where it needs to be? Question, is that in? Is that in the right spot? Let me detach the front. It's kind of what we need to do. So I kind of can get this straight where it needs to be. Let me to manual attach on. There you go. I think that's that done. I can't find it get out. That'll do it. To another 70,000 litres in, and that'll do us. So we'll do, do this right, manual attack back on. I 
I'm hoping this will then last us three days. How are the sheep doing? 47, 43. Okay. We'll probably go fill up. Do this one first. So 22 and a half thousand litres. See how long that lasts us. Right, grab the trans. Grab some hay. Sort of do the sheep first. Because the hay, to be honest, can go back in the 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 food up. So one job at a time. So we'll just finish off the last bits and then tomorrow but we'll go pick up the sprayer in a minute. Put road crops on this. We've got to shut the doors the other side. Then whatever's left, we'll put in the in the tip of barn. So as soon as that's popped, so as soon as I've given, because I think, yeah, them two are nearly full, but they're not cars anymore. Yeah. So that's nearly there. 70,000 litres. See if I can get out of this barn. <laughs> but I just want to see. Get out of it without running. Yeah. Right, let's shut the doors. Because whatever's left is going in the TMR mixer. And we'll fill up. So could do with a few trees, but I think we'll be good too. That keeps 20,000 litres. So, cause we, I want to, I'm hoping if it's got to last three days. We got a cheap silo. That we could technically throw 40,000 litres into. That's the question. So ideally I want to have a silo up here. How much is the cheapest silo that I run?
we can put a silo up here. It's not difficult. That's a first for me. I managed to get that so wrong. Pick it up off the floor after we've driven away. Okay, because that's at the front of the tank. That's why I missed. Yeah, that explains it. It's kind of going on. Why is that just missed, like completely?
must be almost full left in the pit because we'll have probably a half a hundred k to sell at the end of this this is kind of why I want head tracking just for this reason I might actually try some of the right camera We want to that be the last load. That do me. The rest of that I would want to load. Right. I think we're there for the episode. Probably do start having a look at the spraying. I might get a shed. Put this in. Like an actual just. Like we can have vehicles with different things, we could just get stuck in the concrete wall. Yeah, that's seventy thousand litres. You know when you're stuck. Come back and fit, pick that up in a minute. How much have we got in there at the moment? So we got, sorry that was me thinking, 25, 50, 75, so this will give us three loads, this should be enough for the year then, well for a while. Good, it wasn't just my me going insane. 
pause me gun and sign them for a minute. What have I kind of lost? I kind of lost my camera controls. It's peculiar. What the heck? Let me get rid of them for a minute. I've lost my up and down. That was weird. I didn't explain that right. How much have we got in there? 118. That'd be enough. 25, 50, 75. Yeah, so that'd be enough. That'd be more than enough. So that's going to start producing. So we need to find like a medium 30,000 litre trailer. I'll have a quick look in the store in a second. Right, where's this going to live? Is there any room down here? Okay, for the minute, trans can just go in here. to get one field sprayed today. There you go. Right, let's get the spray put on. So the plan is, we, I want to keep, so I'm going to run where we've, yeah, I'll run to half, I'll give it 10 minutes, we'll get, we've got enough spray in here at the moment. I have an idea to get more, so it's fine. Now, in theory, we shouldn't damage crop to our right.
Hey, Farmer William. So, this basically was just a setup video. Um, and I, so this is only good. There's only meant to be an hour. It's gone overboard a little bit, and I'll show you what what I've done. So Missy B kindly sent me over a shed pack. Um, so with the extra money. Daxi Flatline, welcome in. I literally was saying this was only meant to be an hour stream today. It's a bit of a setup video for tomorrow. Um, because Missy B sent me over a shed pack that will be on Mod Hub at some point. So I was just basically spent 40 minutes building this yard. So this is now our third and final complete yard. Uh, Daxi, while I've got you in, I'll just show you around the yard quickly. Um, so this is now the start of my arable yard. So the sheds are finished. I've still got silos to put in, some trees to put in. And if we run out of room, more sheds. But yeah, uh, then what I'm running is if we, if I finish this, doing this quickly. There you go. Let's get this over here. Get this set up for tomorrow. So I'll be on all day tomorrow. Um, let's turn that off. So that's that sprayed. So I am running precision farming. Yeah, they are from 19. So, uh, Missy B sent me across them early. They will be coming out. Right, let me do some talking while I'm just smashing this out. Because I've got two minutes, so let's clear this. So, t um, all I was basically just doing is I... Don't want to do too much work off camera on here. So the idea is we've got three three yards. We've got the cow yard in front of us. That's an old my old American style setup. Um, and this is what I was on about my spawns. And then we've got the pig and sheep barns to my right. Um, I will be running doing a rerun again tonight. So yesterday I did a rerun of my old streams. I will be running a rerun again. Right, that'll do. Let's stop that there. I can finish it off in the morning. So, let me just save this. Um, that needs to go... I'm actually going to do something with that quickly. I can sit there. So that needs to go down the bottom yard. Um... Most of this, ignore that stream elements message at the bottom, ignore that. So, yeah, we got our what I call the American Ranch set up. Most stuff that's here is going to stay. Uh, and then we come in. No, I, I put the rerun on. It got me two, it got to me two followers overnight. Which I'm over the moon with. Um, I, you're probably working tomorrow, aren't you, Daxi? And then you come into what I call the chicken um, yard. Oh, one thing, Daxi. Um, if you ever do silage, get yourself a buck fork. Don't use a bucket. Um, yeah, with the bucket, I've had endless issues. Coming into the pit and it not pick it up with the buck fork. It, okay, it's eight grand, but I've had it's made moving silage so easy. Uh, then we come into the chicken, the chicken yard here. Uh, my this is basically my pallet storage area. Uh, hay dryer that I built uh, that I converted myself. Pig food mixer, uh, sorry, seed seed silo, pig food mixer, uh, silage fermenter. Gotta shut these doors. Um, TMR mixing station. 
pig barn. And then I built this wall myself. Quite pleased with that. Uh, refrigerating yard. And then... This is what I'm going to show you about levelling. So, we jump out of here. And this is what... I've done this in the dark. Most of this over here. I want that one. I want that one. No, that's not worked. So this up here, I done I I done most of this on dusk, so I couldn't really see what I'm doing. So so this is completely flat. So the first thing I done was I dropped this building. We actually pan up. We might get a better viewpoint. Because uh, this is just what I wanted to show you. My main thing. So I dropped that chemical plant in first. And you can see the the ridges around the outside. Um, the hardest thing was this path coming in. So this path here. I used something I've never done before. The slope tool. So I leveled it. Brought it out to about... Here's, uh, yeah, in line with the bottom here. Um, because that's sloped. I then managed to work out how to make the slope tool. And then I smoothed the bottom end out. And so far, um, I've managed to get an arctic up and in. Um, still got a bit of work with, like, with, with the fencing. It's all self-taught. So you, I just save, uh, save, and then don't be afraid to quit and restart. But how? What the trick I found with the slope tool is pick your. So how I had to do this? I had to come from two sides. So I split this in the middle. I did half of it from this side and half it from this side. So when it says slope to point. I choose the lowest point, and it's kind of worked. There's still a little bit of a dip there. Um, and then the other thing I use a lot is the soften tool. Um, but yeah, still a little bit of work to do. Um, and I decided, so to make No Man's Land a little bit more unique... I actually that's not a bad photo. It's actually not a bad photo. No wrong one. Would be if I knew my command buttons. Yeah, I like that. So I've kind of got a area that is um, commercial and industrial. And then I've blocked, as you can see by this fence, that I will be fixing at some point. Um, I've kind of blocked the rest of No Man's Land off um, from everywhere. So you kind of can see the fixed points. Um Actually, let's have a look at the farmyard from above. I haven't done this from out here for, for... I haven't actually done this from out here. You can't even see where I've tried to keep the paths. So I've tried to keep the pathways exactly where you would expect to see them. Because when you kind of do that... Um, yeah, that's what I've kind of tried to do. I've tried to keep No Man's Land as itself. Um, there's one thing I want to do. 
This is going to annoy me. We might be adding money back in because I don't like normally doing this. So you can see that line. It's through there. Okay, I've got a slight issue with that jumping. Right, five grand. So we need to put two grand back in. And the reason is... That's what I'm about to do now. Yeah. Okay. See what I mean by how expensive grass seed is? Right. Now, when I do this, hopefully that path's disappeared. Is what I'm hoping. Yes. Right. So what we want to do... No. That's better. So hopefully now... I get the right viewpoint on this. I should have hopefully got rid of the path. Yeah. Still not perfect. But at least that now is not going into the yard. But that's what I've tried to do. If you see where the, um, where, like, the paths kind of go. Yeah, well, Dax, the, um, Hi, anti-inflammatory. I'm just about to end the stream. Um, it was only meant to be a couple of fixing. Thank you for popping in though, bud. Hope you're doing well. I will be on tomorrow. Daxi, thank you for that sub, bud. Much, much appreciated. My target for May, even though this is follower goal target 350, my target for May is to smash the 300. If I can get 100 followers this month. Um, but yeah, unlike a lot of people on, on No Man's, I've tried to keep the forests in the place where they're meant to be. I've tried to keep the paths where they're meant to be. Oh, don't worry. I was on I was on Missy B stream last night trying to get another guy up to his 50 while I was on her stream. Um, she didn't mind me doing that, luckily, but yeah. Um so that's kind of where we're at. So 
it's funny how far the concrete stands out from up here. Um, right, I'm gonna do a little. I'm gonna do a couple more tweaks to this yard. I want to see if I can get this pathway looking a bit better. Right, let's see if, what this looks like. Has that got rid of the ugliness? Because if this is work, then I know what to do for next time. Because I normally put dry grass down first. Maybe I should just put a bed of grass down. If that's the right way of doing it, then I know what to do from now on. And I think looking at that, I love um, Pro Shop. Right, let me just zoom in a little bit. You kind of can see the forest that we've taken out. So, what I do is I press, so if you press 1, you lose focus. So I press 2, that gets everything as detailed as possible. Um, and then, the only things I really play with is sun temperature, sunlight exposure, and camera exposure. So that brings the exposure down a little bit, so I normally, uh, let's try that, bring that down to about there. You know what I find interesting? So, I use the field leasing mod. So, when I scanned 36, it was leased, not bought. It's knocked. It's knocked. Um, it's knocked the scanning out on 36. We've got to rescan 36. So there's little things, so precision farming, this is your fertiliser map, just very quickly while you're in here, um, and it relates to your soils, and different soils require different nitrogen across the thing, but soybeans that I run require no fertiliser whatsoever. I'm actually going to do something. So it's 2887. And I'm actually going to put 2887 back in the bank. Because we've already done that. And we should be on 7-3 or something, I think. Right, is now that messed up? Yeah, see, now it's knocked the pH out.
Yeah, pretty much. So, um, environmental score. Uh, yeah, so you're growing crops in an environmental friendly and sustainable way. Your max score of 100 would increase your price you get for your crops by 15%. Now, there is a bug with it, and there is an issue that I'm trying to... I'm not exactly going to talk about on stream at the moment, because I'm still trying to fix it. And what I am tempted to try... I want to try something. Because that shouldn't have reset itself. And it did reset itself. I want to. I want to try something. So that pH is good at 750 to 600. It's not perfect. I'm going to save this. Because what I'm about to do could mess up. Right, wrong one. I want this. Okay, so I don't think this is a custom field. So that pH is a, is not bad. So that pH there is okay. Now, the problem is, I don't think this is going to work. Doesn't recognise I'm on a field. That's the issue. It's not working for custom fields. Yeah, so what I've had to do, so I've downloaded course play and course play is a complicated mod, but what it gives me is within it I can draw custom fields. So I've numbered my fields. 
because then that relates back to field calculator and it tells me roughly how much fertilizer and stuff I need. Right, I'm calling that stream. I'm going to chuck on a rerun. Uh, I'll be back on probably most of tomorrow. Um, so tomorrow it'll just be carrying on with the herbicide. Right. Yeah, that's fine, bud. Remember, you can always... um. I'll throw you this as well. You can always catch up my VODs on the rest of Discord. Um, and you can catch it. Um, so you can catch the rest of my VODs on Twitch and then on my YouTube. Have a good night and I'll see you guys soon.